In this video, we present different examples of meniscal repair using a double-sided technique. Exploration of the lateral meniscus reveals a longitudinal lesion located at the limit of the posterior horn and extending towards the midbody. By placing the scope at the periphery, we can observe this lesion located at the meniscocapsular junction. Careful debridement of the tear is performed with a motorized shaver. Once the debridement has been completed, the first superior stitches are placed with meniscal suture anchors. The first anchor is placed through the meniscus, while the second one is placed over the meniscus. In this area, anchors can be placed through the popliteus tendon without causing any particular post-operative discomfort. The second superior stitch is then performed. These stitches are tightened to close the superior gap. Fixing the superior gap of the meniscus lifts the meniscus's free edge, subsequently exposing the inferior surface of the lateral meniscus. Inferior stitches can then be performed using the same sequence. The first anchor is placed through the meniscus by inserting the needle into the inferior surface of the meniscus, starting as posterior as possible to avoid the white zone. The second anchor is placed below the meniscus and the stitch is tightened. A second inferior stitch is then placed in the same manner. Tightening of these inferior stitches allows to close the inferior gap and to compress the lower part of the lesion. In this second example, the same technique is used to repair an extensive longitudinal lesion of the midbody of the medial meniscus. The debridement is performed with a 4mm motorized shaver. A first superior stitch is placed at the posterior limit of the lesion. This stitch, placed in the corner between the posterior horn and the midbody, is tightened. The scope is then placed in the anteromedial portal and the meniscal repair device through the anterolateral portal in order to have easier access to the midbody area. Three superior stitches are then successively placed before being tightened one after the other. Once tightened, this top first technique allows the free edge of the meniscus to lift up. Then the inferior stitches can be easily placed through the inferior surface. This double-sided repair provides a global compression upon the lesion's entire surface. 